Welcome to the AP Physics Workbook Tutorial. This is Unit 5, Momentum. This section is 5.M Collision. Here you can read the scenario to yourself. The first one, Part A, asks us to create and draw using these graphs to visually represent the momentum collisions in each case. So let's do the first case. The first case here is when the cart Im embeds itself in the cart the dart and it enable itself in the cart let's just get some initial momentum that it has and i'm gonna label this how much let's see one let's fill this in so one two three four five six seven eight so i have eight here right so it's momentum here is eight then the cart's initial momentum here it's gonna be zero because it's not moving take a look the cart has a velocity and we say its momentum is one two three four five six seven eight and it hits a stationary cart momentum here is zero once it's stuck to get her the mass is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, I made that nine. Nope. Let's make this eight. All right. Okay. The fact that I made it eight, the momentum here is going to be together. It's going to be, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There you go. That's what the momentum would be because he has more mass. All right. Next, the have the dart bounces back off the cart. And let's say here it starts the same. Oh, well, it's the same thing. The cart and the dart momentum is the same thing. So I'm just going to copy the same thing here. So this is how it looks like. All right. The only thing different is the momentum difference here. All right. So let's make this blue again. So the new, well, let's do the red one first. All right. So the new cart's momentum is going to be is going to be from the darts initial momentum so it was eight so we could have this as eight here as well let's see could look something like this one two three four five six seven eight but it's not going to be eight all right so let's see it's one two three four five six seven eight would look something like this but let's say it only has six the reason why it has only six blocks is because the other two is here right so this is six blocks this is two blocks okay the sum of the momentum is still sit it's still eight which matches the momentum in the initial which is still eight okay however you piece um, these together you have to make sure that it is um, still the same. Okay. Ooh, so this means I have to make this um, only three as well. One, two, three, because the mass is the same. Uh, so, okay. That would be when the mass is the same. All right. So that would be three. That makes six. So I made this. So I have to change this to at least three. So I have to change this as well to just be, uh, that's not gonna work. Is that, I should have made it four. Uh, that's fine. Because look, I made this mass three. So this has to be, let's say one, two, one, two, three, four, 
it's three so here it's one of these three plus one more okay just has to be seven in the end okay I just shifted the mass all right next one again the initial setup is the same if you're wondering why this one it's going down is because it bounces back and the velocity is towards the left so it was like this but it went back down after it got hit okay so this is how it looked like right here like it bounced back all right here this is when the dart passes through So let's see from the blues. So from the initial cart, which is eight, and we had one red is three. Uh, we have red here as one, two, three, three. So uh, let's make it one, two, three. Let's make it, let's say, less three. It passes through, right? So it's just three. Okay yeah let's just make it three All right so it's three here so this has to be five All right so the niche uh the darts final momentum is going to be five one two three four five okay because its mass here is still one so its momentum here is one two three four five okay here the mass is three but it only has a little velocity one two three here the final if you're wondering why the final momentum here is still eight right the initial momentum here is still eight okay because this was eight plus zero this is uh let me clear this up uh, so this is eight plus zero is equal to one two three four five plus three same thing here 8 plus 0 this is negative 1 no this is negative 2 so this is going to be 1 2 3 4 5 6 <gasps> oh this is wrong this doesn't add up so if it's gonna if this is negative 2 this has to be more yes you see this is why we double check our work so it has to be actually 10 so 3 9 does the mass Oh, it bounced back. Okay, so the mass is the same. So 3, 9, 10, right? So this has to be a 10, okay? Because if this is 8, if the momentum here is 8, then this number has to be a, um, a 10 because this is the only way they add up, right? Here, this is an 8 plus a 0, so this is also an 8. Perfect. Good. Right. All right. Now we want to derive an equation for each one of these cases. Let me just bring down each one of these cases so we know. Case one, the dart embeds itself in the cart. Case two, the dart bounces back in the cart. And case three, the dart passes through the cart. I'm going to give it room. I'm going to give it room here. All right. Let's do each one. So the first one, initial momentum equals to the final momentum. I'm using 1 and 2 because that's how the uh, workbook wants it. I normally use 0 and 1, okay? 1 just stands for the initial. 2 is just the final in this case, all right? Um, this is the initial momentum of the dart. This is the block. This is when they're stuck together. The initial block of the cart is zero. That's why this is zero. Divide over, that's how you get it. Next, this is when it bounces back. So it's the same thing, but this time this is a negative. The reason why it's negative is because it says it right here backwards off the cart. That's the reason why. Okay. 
and then add mv squared 2 to the other side, then divide. That's how I got that. Next one, same thing here, but the dart passes through, so it's no, so this is passes through, okay? So it's no longer negative, it's positive. Subtract that over to the other side. This is supposed to be a subtraction. So it's a subtraction because once you subtract it to both sides, then divide by M. All right. So these are the velocities for each one of these situations. V2F is the velocity of this cart. So we want to now rank them based on how high uh, up the incline it goes. So how high does it go? That's basically a conservation of an energy problem. I rank it two, one, then three. Scenario two goes first, scenario one, then last is scenario three. Okay, just look at the way the formula is set up. All right, so conservation of energy states that energy initial equals to the energy final. There's no net work. There's no work being done on the system. There's no net force acting on the system. The change in energy is zero. So in here, we're just looking at the kinetic energy initial is going to be equal to the, uh, which is equal to the potential final. Okay, so all the kinetic energy is going to be translated to the potential energy. The larger the velocity of the cart post collision means there's going to be more kinetic energy. More kinetic energy means there's going to be more potential energy that gets converted from the kinetic energy. Therefore, the cart will go up higher on the ramp as a result. Scenario two has the largest post collision velocity because here, if you look at the equations, they add. I say scenario three has the least because here they subtract. And then scenario one is in the middle. So I can just grab it for you here if you would like to see it. So that's in the middle. This is first and this is second. No, this is third. Okay, this makes sense because this adds, this adds zero, this subtracts it. That's the reason why it's like this. And remember, the reason why the energy is like this is because at the start, it has all kinetic energy. It's going to go up the ramp, so it's going to get convert to all potential. All right, there you go. That is your solution for 5M.